This tutorial is designed to accompany Appendix D using Excel to solve enzyme kinetics problems. I'm working on problem one. I've just completed table two, and I've just completed a line est function analysis on the data without the inhibitor and with the inhibitor. The next thing that I want to do is to to calculate the percent error in the slope and the y-intercept, both in the presence and in the absence of the inhibitor. I want to do this because later on we will compare values of the slope and the y-intercept in the presence and the absence of the inhibitor, and we need to know whether these values are the same within experimental error or if they are different. So the way I do this is first I will type equals and then in open parentheses this value here is the error in the slope, so I just divide that by the value of the slope itself and then multiply by 100. I will decrease the value of the significant figures to 3. I can do the same thing for the y-intercept, although here it's easier if I just copy and then paste and Excel will perform the same operation by comparing the value of the error in the, in the, sorry, in the y-intercept to the y-intercept itself. I will also do this with the line S data uh, with the inhibitor. So again, the error in the slope divided by the slope itself multiplied by 100 and decrease the number of significant figures to three. And I'll do the same thing here where I copy and paste in order to calculate the error and the y-intercept.